Hi ladies, it's Claire here. Um, I've had a request from Mary, um, Mary at It's So Pretty, followed by quite a few more requests that have come through, um, asking me just to go through some of the punches that I use and my essential bits and pieces um, that I use in my albums. So I thought, oh, that's a quick video to do. I'll, uh, I'll just sit down and do it and take you through um, my thoughts behind my work, how it looks, what I do and what I use really. Um, I think over the year that I've been making albums I've developed quite a simple style. I don't like things to be cluttered. I'm not very girly. I'm really not very frilly and so I've sort of developed this simple style and I find that I don't use that many bits of equipment really. So let me take you through my essentials. Um, first of all, ink. I'm a, an obsessive inker. So I have got quite a few of Tim Holtz's Distress ink pads and the inker. And loads and loads of pads that I chop and change. And that I wouldn't be without really. I use that all of the time. Um, I did invest in a crocodile. Let me move some of these. It's really cluttered on this table. Um, I love this and up until the point that I bought it I did use just a normal hole punch um, and I did have one of the punches that you can just by pushing your weight on it punch holes in things but this has been brilliant and of course it sets um, eyelets as well although I don't use that many of them it, it's really really useful so a really good investment um, the thing with being in the UK is everything seems so much more expensive over here. It's at least half the price again, if not more. So um, I've sort of worked out what I like to use, what I don't like to use, and I've stopped buying um, loads and loads of bits of equipment. So that one I do use all the time. Um, my favourite favourite, and you'll see this again and again, is the Stamping Up Label Punch. I think you can get Stampin' Up! on eBay now, but um, they do sell through distributors and we've got one living down the road, Ruth, she's absolutely fantastic. Um, but they're everywhere, you can find them all on the net. But that one is um, the large tab punch. Um, this is their old style, they've started doing um, square punches which are, are really good and great for storage. But that one I use all of the time. And uh, if I just show you my Paris album, I use it on on tags and on pages, and I just think it's really, really nice. So that's a definite have to have. Again, it was quite expensive, but well worth investing in. Let me move that over there. The next one that I wouldn't be without and I have to say mine's broken. I can't believe I've broken a punch, but I have. Um, this is the Tonic Studios Dual Corner Punch. Um, just do a search on the net if you want to buy one, if you haven't got one already. Again, it was quite expensive, but I'm not sure if that's just because it's, in the, it's hard to get in the UK. Um, I think actually this one came from America, but I don't know if you can see. I've completely broken it. It does work with a lot of fiddling about, um, but I'm going to have to get a new one, I can't mend it. But that one I use all of the time. Uh, corner punches, rounders, I've just got two X-cut punches, one small, one large, and they're brilliant. These ones I picked up from Trago Mills, which is a... Uh, really really cheap shop down in Cornwall um, in Falmouth. Again you can get them all over the place but um, Trago sell them really really cheaply so every time I go to Cornwall I always go into Trago's, see what they've got and always come back with something new. So those are really really useful and really easy to use. Um, this was another X cut, I've broken this one as well for some, I have no idea why. But I think if you're a fan of my videos and watch what I make, I always put photographs in my albums. They're all designed to take 
photographs of specific sizes and I don't think, let me just have a look in here, I don't think I've used it in here, I think I've just stuck the photos in. But I usually cut the corners so that you can slot the photos onto the photo mat in um, my albums. So I use this X Cut one I've used on a new project, got halfway through and the actual corner bit broke off. So I am going to find another one of these because it's brilliant. Really like that look. And then this one is just a um, just cuts the photo slots. This was from Hobbycraft, which is our sort of equivalent of Michael's, and um, I haven't seen them anywhere else. But it's just a corner slot punch, so have a look on the net. Um, but again, it's one that I absolutely love. Um, EK Success. This is the uh, corner punch. It is a corner punch that I use on the top of my tags, you can see here. Um, absolutely love that one, and that was another must-have. If you can see. Um, but again, I use it all the time. Sometimes I just cut the, the tab, I cut a two and a half by two and a half inch square, cut opposite corners with the punch, and then just cut that in half and use that slotted onto a tag. And sometimes I actually cut a corner off a piece of paper and then cut the tag off that in one piece. So I think that one, that one and that one are my favourite three. I think I could do everything with, with, with those. So EK Success, I like the notepad top um, and I bought their large swirls as well and one of the projects I've made for my Graphic 45 feature I've used that on and it's really effective. Really nice punches they are but again I don't really buy that many. I look at some of these ladies craft rooms and they've got punch after punch after punch, all stored away. I think I'd forget what I got if I had that many. <laughs> um, I also like Martha Stewart. I haven't got many. Um, really like this one. It's just the um, scalloped edge spot punch. And. I picked up a butterfly punch, this one I absolutely love, really nice little butterfly and it came with stamps as well. And that was next to nothing at, um, I don't know if you can see, there it is, uh, our craft show, a national craft show that's uh, just happened at the National Exhibition Centre. So that was great. And this one I've been meaning to buy for a long time, this is one of Martha Stewart's deep edge punches, it falls out. Again, they are quite expensive, but this one I picked up for uh, about a third of the price at the NEC. So that was a real bargain, which means I love it even more. And then I've just got some odd um, little cut. That's a flower doily X cut punch. Again, I got that from Trago's. And a really cute little flower punch. I use this one a lot. But again, that's from Hobbycraft, and I think it was $1.99. So is that about $4? Other essentials, I wouldn't be without um, the alteration styles. I absolutely love them, and I do have loads of them. I love the tag. This is the tag and hole reinforcer. I think it's called. It doesn't say. Oh, it does. Tag and book plates, and uh, as you can see I've got lots of movers and shapers in there. This one I do use all of the time, but with this one, with this punch, you can make tags any size and do the corners in the same way that the um, larger die does. So 
loads and loads of movers and shapers really like those and keyholes lots of lots of um, the alterations dies I do have a bit of an obsession with those so I tend to buy those more than anything else um, another one that I use all the time I'm sure you will have noticed is the tiny tabs and tags I don't think you'll be able to see this and it's got uh, holes in it um, you can spend an absolute fortune buying embellishments but actually you can make them quite easily just with a, a one or two simple dies so this one's got quite a number of um, I don't know what you call them but little little tags that you can use as catches tabs I use the um, little round tab off here all of the time. It's got a really nice tag and then the hole reinforces as well. So that one I thought was a really good buy. Um, we pay about 11, 11 88 for it over here. So I'm not sure how that compares with um, prices in the US and Canada. But really, really good die that one. And I also love the on the edge dies. Didn't like them to start with. Everything moved on them, paper never stayed where it should, but if you just catch your paper down with a little piece of tape before you put it through your um, cutting machine, it will stay in place and you can get some lovely effects with those. I think I've done a tutorial on um, how to get the best out if you're on the edge dies, but really really like those and that's it that's that's really what I've got um, apart from loads and loads of paper of course <laughs> which I think we all have anyway I hope that's been helpful and um, if you've got any questions then do mail me I do try to get back to everybody and thank you to everyone that sent messages as well um, I've had loads and loads so I do try and get back to you but if I haven't Please accept my apologies. It's not intentional. Um, it's, it's just difficult sometimes to get around to doing everything and being a mum and working. So um, anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.